Hi guys, today's topic is Hulse Drive Reduction Theory. Uh, what basically reduction theory is, it is a learning theory and it is a type of motivational theory. Well, Clark Hull developed this motivational theory for the first time in 1943. Before I start explaining the theory, let me give you one hypothetical situation where you are hungry. Now, what you are supposed to do when you are hungry? Obviously, you are motivated to get the food. Now, you want food very badly and uh, you got the food somehow and now you are happy and now you are done. Your hunger is almost done and now you are in proper balanced state where you are not hungry. What basically happened that you were hungry and anyhow you wanted to grab a food you grab the food and then after getting a food you are on a normal balanced situation this situation we will call it as a homeostasis well it's a biological term if you are not a biology student it will kind of little difficult for you to understand it but it's very simple that their body condition need to be in certain balanced way okay there should no any extreme in your condition. Suppose you are feeling cold. You need proper warmth. Not that much of warmth. You want a warmth in balanced condition. You don't want that much heat. Okay. That should be a balance. And that balanced physiological uh, state is the homeostasis. Okay. Suppose it, it is very common example given to the biological child. I mean biology kids that... So, your body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Anyhow, if outside temperature is 50 degree or even outside temperature is 2 degrees Celsius, minus 2 degrees Celsius, your body temperature will be 37 degrees Celsius. Your body knowing very well how to maintain this balance or we can say homeostasis condition. Okay. So, that, that is a base, base of this theory. There is nothing much in this theory. Hulse gave this theory basically in primary needs. What are the primary needs? That the hunger, thirst, the warmth and you know also some uh, physiological need like sex and all. So that basic physical needs are uh, we can say physiological or biological needs will become a drive to grab that particular thing and after getting that thing the homeostasis will done the balance condition will arrive and uh, you can say that cycle can stop and that cycle can run again every day because you are definitely going to get this kind of thing every day so here in image you can see that lack of homeostasis for example we have given example of hunger you now you need the food the need will be generated now drive you will drive to get a food anyhow suppose there is no lunch time you will anyhow you want to grab a food you will you know kind of may bunk the class also this kind of thing some some kind of you know maybe to you will do some negative things for also to you know satisfy this need and you you will act make certain kind of act to go for a particular thing you know you are motivated to do certain things for grabbing a food and now after grabbing a food your hunger is done and now you are at the balanced state which is homeostasis that's it and this, this cycle can run again and again every time when your physiological need will be arrived this physiological need i have given example like uh, food warmth and you know what uh, everything even shelter you definitely you need a shelter this all these are the primary you know need your body ko hoti hai, biological need so we can evaluate this theory as like it uh, is very much like um motivational theory because you are you are getting motivation you, you are getting drive to do such things activities regarding getting a balanced condition so sometimes you can do some negative stuff also to uh, you know satisfy your need and these are basically all the primary needs like urination urination rest sleep uh, reproduction related stuff and all 
so this theory was also claimed you know because it is not giving any idea regarding other self esteem and the kind of stuff uske regarding kuch bhi nahi batati hai theory to and ye iske koi zyada unhone exam ye examples hi diye hain iske zyada koi proof bhi nahi diye the that's why it was quite claimed but it seems quite true you know trustworthy lagti hai theory that's all that's all i wanted to say regarding this theory